because we are in the month still in the month of january and because i hope that you are continuing to focus on your goals that you have set out for this year oh i thought it was appropriate that i teach you a brain hack that i have learned and experimented and used in my life so that i am happy in whatever i do so today i'm going to be sharing with you excitedly i'm going to be sharing with you brain hacks that can help you boost your happiness let's get started Hey there, I'm Aparna. I'm your personal coach helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. Did you know that there are four chemicals in your brain that affects your happiness? Now, the first time I heard about these chemicals in our brain is from a Simon Sinek's TED talk. Your cell phone? I'll link oh, to that video in the description below. Now, that video impacted me so much that I've spent a couple of years on trying to understand how these chemicals actually make me behave, make me react to a certain situations, how they affect my happiness. So today I want to share with you some dope on these chemicals and how you can create brain hacks with an intention that you are going to create yourself an action plan to achieve all those things that you want in your life. The first chemical is dopamine which plays an important role in controlling your movement, emotions and cognition. In my research, I've learned that dopamine deficiency can cause aches and pains in your body, muscle stiffness, cramps, constipation, excessive weight loss or weight gain and in extreme cases, Parkinson's disease. But if you want to have more focus in your life, increase your drive, improve your memory and also get an ability to see clarity in every given situation, then you need to boost your dopamine. So how can you do that naturally? Understand that dopamine is released when you achieve your goals, when you feel like a success. So the best way to trigger dopamine in your brain is number one, to set small realistic goals. What I mean by that, you may have a lot of goals in your life, but if you create small realistic goals, achievable goals in between those larger life goals, then achieving them will be easier. And when you achieve them, number two, you reward yourself for it. So you feel like a success. Then you go back and scale up those goals slowly so that the process is continued and the dopamine can get, can get boosted every single time. That is when you will stop procrastinating, stop the laziness and excuses that you give yourself in order for you to take that first step in getting closer to your goal. The second chemical is serotonin and like dopamine, serotonin is also a neurotransmitter. It basically helps regulate your moods, your thoughts and your impulse control. It also regulates your emotions. So when you have enough serotonin in your body, you feel optimistic. But when you have serotonin deficiency, you will feel depressed, anxious and also irritable. Serotonin is released when you have a sense of belonging, when you feel respected by people around you and get appreciated for all your efforts. So the brain hack for you to trigger serotonin deliberately is number one, self-respect. Start respecting yourself, start valuing yourself, uh, you know, on a higher grounds and put your best interest forward. It doesn't mean that you're being selfish. It means that you're not allowing others to walk all over you or dictate what you should be doing or saying. Number two, you have to give more often. The more you give, the more recognized you will be for your social recognition part and you will get appreciated for what you have given and the more you will be able to boost serotonin in your body. So uh, that's my second hack. The third hack is to feel gratitude. And you can do this by looking at happy memories or looking at items that you you know, uh, wanted to have in your life and you have it already with you. So being thankful can also boost your uh, serotonin levels. Some of the ways that you can boost serotonin in your body is to go out into sunlight, getting yourself a good massage. Uh, another way is, which is actually tied up to gratitude, is remembering happy memories. Uh, look up your old photographs, look up uh, you know, talk to your friends, uh, talk about the memories that you have created. This also sort of boosts your um, serotonin levels in your body. Remember that dopamine gets released when you feel like a success, um, when you feel like you've achieved something. 
Serotonin gets released when others recognize you for your success and you get that social recognition. The third chemical is oxytocin. This is a neurochemical that allowed us to become social creatures. So it can be called as a bonding chemical and it is associated with empathy, trust, sexual activity and relationship building. Remember the warm and fuzzy feeling that you get when you're in love? That is the release of oxytocin in your body. However, when you feel that your trust is broken and you feel betrayed, that is when the oxytocin is basically going low. It's getting depleted. So not having oxytocin in your body can make you feel lonely. It can make you feel like you're alone and there's no one to support you. So how can you deliberately trigger oxytocin in your body? Well, the first thing you can do is to touch. Uh, get intimate with a loved one, get a warm hug um, and in interpersonal relationships uh, a warm handshake or a pat on the back all these can boost uh, oxytocin naturally within your body. Uh, the second thing you can do is to listen to some music and sing along the track you know like a karaoke just sing the song aloud the third thing is to spend time with your pets you know this also gets connected to the touch factor where you're playing with your pets and uh, generally spending time a good time with them and the fourth thing that you can do is to have having kindness meditation now this is a meditation which allows you to become compassionate person not just with yourself but also with everybody around you the fourth chemical is endorphins and endorphins are released in our brain and in our nervous system at the same time and they act in masking the pain and discomfort in our body just like painkillers. Endorphins also trigger a sense of positivity. They enhance immune system, they reduce your stress and retard your aging process. Wow! The best way to trigger uh, endorphins in your body is Exercise, especially the cardiovascular exercise is the best way for you to release endorphins in your body. Second way you can release endorphins is to have a hearty laugh. Just have a hearty laugh with a friend. Go watch those amazing hilarious videos eating certain type of foods such as chocolates or cheese can also help you release endorphins there's one more important chemical called cortisol now cortisol is released when you're stressed and it also has a lot of important functions in our body if you are suffering from excessive weight gain um, especially in the face or abdomen area if you have acne or in case of women suffering from irregular menstrual periods then you may have too much of cortisol in your body which basically means you're way too stressed than you realize but if you feel tired continuously lack of energy have unnatural weight loss or muscle weakness then you could be having cortisol deficiency so the natural way to balance cortisol in your body is to have a routine and complete sleep cycle. Avoid caffeine, sugar and any processed food. Processed food is the biggest bane of our generation. Third is exercise. Exercise in order for you to balance cortisol. And of course do all those things that I've been mentioning that I've been talking about in this video previously to balance cortisol. Alright, so here's an action plan that you can follow to trigger or boost all these chemicals in your body and in a natural way. Exercise every day to boost endorphins. Accomplish little goals and you will get a boost of dopamine. Be nice to others and give more for you to boost your serotonin. Spending time with your friends and family and loved ones will boost your oxytocin. And when all these happy chemicals are released, your cortisol levels will be balanced and you will trigger happiness in your life. I hope you find this video resourceful and you will put these hacks into action to feel the sense of happiness and joy in your life. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms I'm in. Finally, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. Until then, bye.